I mean, when I think of what the word sausage means, I know that salsus, which is the uh, where we also get salami, is the Latin word for salt, and it's it's related to all you know that group of words pertaining to the saltification of meat. So S A L S U S. I think so. It's like the Latin. And then they and then but specifically like botulus. Botulus was the Latin word for sausage, mm -hmm. having nothing to do with the toxin botulism, which was uh, not discovered until the late 19th century and then retrogressively named, uh, borrowing the, the Latin word for sausage, which is weird because all the first cases of recorded botulism had nothing to do with sausage, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was pig blood stuffed in a stomach, pig stomach, and insufficiently cook it, or a undercured and um, warmly smoked ham. Those are the first cases of botulism. So nothing to do with sausage, which is interesting if you follow that out uh -huh. to the draconian warnings you get in your sausage books. Anyway, <laughs> so, you know, Middle English, sausage, wow, very same, same smelling. Um, old French, sausage, modern French, saucisse, like saucisson. Uh, and in the original, let's see, from the original, so, oh, this is great. I love how they define this. This is the material cause right here okay. of sausage. Mm -hmm. In the original use, a quantity of finely chopped pork. So think about that for a second, right? Chopped before grinders. Right. And that uh, means work. Yeah. Work, work bells are going off in my head right now. We even <laughs> have documentation of monastic recipes for sausage uh. and the tools that they use. And they would use the intestines of animals as the casing, of course, but they would drape them over the gigantic key rings. This is when kitchen implements were oh. not so readily available at Amazon Prime Speed. Yeah, we didn't so have, they didn't have like four Gigantic yeah. keys mm -hmm. for monasteries. One side was a ring, which yeah. was pretty essential to, um, to the maintenance of the monastery, was yeah. the lockability of certain places. Well, like, not to mention the books themselves. Exactly. Keeping your library locked up. Right. You yeah. know, so Aristotle doesn't disappear from right. the cosmos. And they would use the key ring as the, like, the stuffing horn. You know, they would drape the casing down, and then its edges oh would be gosh. around the key, the, the hole. Brilliant. And they would stuff it. Instead of a funnel. Like, like that. Have. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they, then you can, we do even have artifacts of funnels, you know, long, narrow, steel, tinny type funnels with wooden rammers huh. before mechanical stuffers. Very tedious work, but, you know, didn't stop anybody from making more diversity of sausage than we could even imagine today. Yeah. Our sausage is reprehensibly homogenized. Mm. In spite of the convenience with which we're able to produce it. Right. Interesting. Yeah. It's like an inverse purport, inverse yeah. relation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a converse of the obverse, inversely considered. <laughs> so it was finely quantity of finely chopped pork. I like that pork is the first on the list. Beef or other meat, spiced and flavored, enclosed in a short length of the intestine of some animal so as to form a cylindrical roll, usually one of the links formed by tying the uh, the containing intestine at regular interval, intervals. In the 19th century, the application of the word what has been greatly extended. In its widest use, it denotes a preparation of comminuted, which is ground, as opposed to finely chopped, comminuted beef, veal, pork, mutton, or a mixture of these, either fresh, salted, pickled, smoked, or cured. There are more than 150 kinds of sausage distinguished by names indicating the ingredients and the method of manufacture. So I want to get to the earliest uses of sausage in that sense, just mm -hmm. described, would be, ah, oh, poloni? No way. Crazy. Okay. Um, getting distracted. <laughs> Maybe I was going to say, uh, right. 1553. <laughs> And keeping it in a certain pickle as we do regard our sausages. As we do ragouts or sausages. So that's from 1553, and that's more like Middle English. So No, not Middle English. That's uh, 
early modern English, like what Shakespeare would mm-hmm. have written in. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So <laughs> they used to preserve sausages in pickles. So sometimes you would put sausages in brines. I've read oh. old recipes about that. And they would do that with... Uh, Uncooked or cooked? Probably fermented and, and I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. not going to guess. Mm-hmm. But at least as we understand it today, 1553 seems to be the earliest use of meat in tube form. 1553? hmm That's a little later, actually, than yeah. I would have thought. The first one is sometime in the 14th century. They don't know the exact date. Mm. Um, Was that just the word? Spelled S-A-W-S-Y-G-E. Of course. Sausage. Well, but that doesn't mean that the usage was that late in history, right? Like, it just means that the word wasn't used. Well, that is a long debate. What comes first, the written word or the verbal articulation thereof? And because codification of meaning is a little slippery until you start writing things down but Mm -hmm. you know yeah that's literary criticism stuff okay